from the rooftop balcony of a luxurious purple dining ball, say to the man he saw around the block, It's a free world. The other who stood about his apartment window, which set high enough to consider his wall, and he said back to the man, Sure you say, once you bought the game. The man atop the purple diner set his mouth open to shout, furiously fascinated at the audacity of the sure bastards below. To buy the game you'd need a job. Yet he knew they'd not let the other stay for free. In fact, upon the purple dotted ball floors was one the persons who owned the apartments. Confused by a lie, the drunkard below was definitely a bastard, and he chose to sleep very well. Yet before he did, he made sure to set clear that by tomorrow he'd come again. The notion was mutual, and tomorrow later the party settled down, about four which set to six. The time was scorch, memorable, beautiful. Within that time they'd sit and speak, through shouts all too powered and spread out to be casual. No, they'd think and wait until seven. At seven, they'd settle down and find the courage to reciprocate. Peace was greater, and the neighbors had near disappeared. The apartment, once so bright and purple, which lights in day would still gleam, fell dull or simply casual. It paired with the apartment beneath. The lights were out today, the landlord forgotten and left. Fortunate today that the other would see this sight as if to establish humanity. Mutual like these is their attraction to the moments and the world they can both appreciate. So they talked, for however many days in the cycle of nature, until the world was great again.